Thanks. Well, this afternoon we are learning about major impro improvements planned for a rundown part of Kannapolis, but neighbors are questioning the timing here. They're wondering why the work hasn't been done before now. News Channel 36 reporter Alex Reed is live now with our mobile newsroom at City Hall with some answers. Alex. <laughs> Yeah, Jennifer, we've actually moved just down the road so we can show you what we're talking about here. You can see for everything from the boarded up businesses to the decrepit sidewalk, everyone who sees this part of town agrees it's in need of some major improvements. But for neighbors, their gripe is it's been like this for years. So why is the city finally paying attention now? Boarded up homes, unpaved streets and crumbling sidewalks. Yeah. It looks a little rough. It's about time to do something. Now, after decades of neglect, the city of Kannapolis plans to overhaul the streets, build new homes, and connect the neighborhood around the old Carver High School with the rest of the city. But people here see only one reason for the city's sudden interest in the area. Nobody really put too much concern about it until that research center has become complete. So we went to the city manager for the truth. Why do this now? Yeah, that's the reason, is because we have this huge economic opportunity. It's not as shallow as it sounds, though. Kannapolis is a relatively young city, only 25 years old, and city manager Mike Legg says it's still finding its identity and going through some growing pains. First, we focused on economic development, and we've I think we've achieved a lot of that. With the North Carolina Research Campus comes newfound stability for a city that survived the largest mass layoff in the state's history after Pillowtex closed. But as long as it's being done, it's, it's a, that's a good thing. Right now, city officials are meeting with neighbors to see what kind of improvements they'd like to see, like daycare or other infrastructure. And we wanted to ask if this is the only part of town that's going to see some improvements. The city manager told us he hopes it becomes a citywide program in the next couple of years. Reporting live from our mobile newsroom in Kannapolis, Alex Reed, News Channel 36.